Great. So thank, uh, thanks, uh, Jan, for uh, this. This is the last time we're doing the metrics team uh, yeah. reporting. The next time it will go into the AI digitalization team. But uh, what have we done in the last uh, few months? So one thing that was uh, Simin, our new PhD student, was doing was uh, working in the area that uh, Pekka introduced, but also but studying a bit of uh, grounds of the large language models and understanding can they really understand the problem or programming task they are given, or can they just write a program? And it turns out that it's, uh, the answer is, of course, more, uh, more interesting than that. And the, Large models are a bit better in understanding language, but they are really bad in writing programs. Whereas the smaller models are really good at writing programs, but really bad at understanding what they actually go to solve. So there's no, no silver bullet yet. And uh, Wilhelm has been working a lot with uh, his problem on uh, three GPP standardization. He's been generating uh, requirements from standards. It's uh, analyzing hundreds of thousands of uh, pages of documents and condensing them into few requirements that are never been met uh, before at Ericsson. It's uh, part of his uh, daily job today. Then we have a uh, new postdoc, uh, 3G, that has been working a lot with uh, trying to make sure that security analysis are going outside of, this, of the cars and uh, in the automotive sector, talking mostly with, um, <coughs> with, uh, with different language models and finding external vulnerabilities. Then we have a project with Frederick and Natalia, who've been uh, working with uh, Ericsson, if I remember correctly, to understand the impact of uh, large language models and the uh, chat, uh, chatbots on the daily work. You will have uh, more on that later, then, I guess. And then uh, Natalia has been working in the team with the uh, metric stakeholders, project number 37, working with champions, uh, mostly with uh, Siemens Gamesa, who has left Software Center, and uh, Axis Communications, and hopefully in the future with uh, Grundfos. And um, if you want to know more, then uh, we invite you all to the breakout session that Jan, Christian and I designed to talk about post-Gen AI software engineering, to, to talk a bit about what these language models can do and cannot do and, and how, do we d how do we do anything useful with those models in the companies uh, now and in the future and also how your software development should look like and could look like in the future when you have access to all the agents. So without further ado, thank you, Jan. I give Excellent. the word to the next one. Uh, Excellent. Next thank you very much. Thank you. The next person is...